Intelligent point of sale training. Once you open the app, you will be presented with the login screen. Here, you should enter the credentials you have created at intelligentpos.com. During the initial setup, you can adjust some basic settings. Here, you can select Retail from the Operating Mode section. You can also assign a terminal ID. Each terminal should have a different ID number. Next, you will see a list of backups. This area will be blank unless you already have an intelligent POS terminal, in which case you can copy your existing setup across. Or if we have uploaded your product listings to your account prior to your installation, Next, you can enter the default PIN, 1234. After logging in, you will be presented with the main sales screen. If you did not select retail mode during the initial setup, it can be activated from within the app via the settings menu. Here, you can select the config button. This allows you to adjust the app's main configuration settings. Next, select Operating Mode. And then select Retail. Now press the Settings tab to return to the main Settings menu. Select the drop-down icon. Select Back to return to the main Sales screen. Let's take a look at the Function tab. Here, you can do things like view closed orders, process refunds, abandon orders, and cash up. We will now take a look at the layout of the main sales screen. Your products will be displayed in this section. This area of the screen is the product entry section. The products you ring through will appear here. Here you can switch between different product layouts. Layouts can be created automatically by assigning categories to your product ranges such as clothing, shoes or accessories. Or you can create your own custom layouts. This allows you to have products with different categories included in your layout. For example, you could create a layout for your best sellers. If you need to switch users halfway through a sale, simply click on the Log Out button. Another user can now log in to the system. When you are ready to continue with your order, you just have to log back in with your PIN. Your open order will appear in the product entry section. If you need to enter multiple quantities of a product, simply touch the quantity button. Use the numeric pad to enter the quantity of items required and select the product. This will now add items to the product entry section. When you are ready to complete the transaction, Select the Pay button. You will now be presented with a number of payment options such as Cash Amount Presets Card Payments PayPal and a numeric keypad to enter an amount manually. You can also control the Receipt Print options.